everybody welcome back to Eileen's Craft Nook uh, so it's been <laughs> a bit since I put out a video I uh, went on a trip to take my mom to Florida and I just kind of took a break when we got back so um, but I want to get back into it so today I want to make uh, one of the paper towel holders now I didn't have the proper mold for it but I do have this one and this does fit into it as you can see the only thing is it will have like a lip which is fine with me so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pour this in two layers i'm going to do the first layer to cover this and then i um cut out some uh, craft paper uh, i think i got it from michael's uh, i just had it in my stash and i cut a hole in the middle so once the first layer dries i'm going to add this on top and then um, put a clear coat on it but the reason why i want to do two layers is I'm going to try because this comes up above a bit to push this down. And what I want to do is see if I can get the resin to come over top of these two bars so that it's a little um, more flush to put the um, craft paper on. So I've mixed up my resin. I have this snowflake uh, confetti that I picked up at a, the Dollarama, which is a dollar store we have here in Canada. And I'm going to add that to the resin um, so that the bottom, when you look at it from the bottom, it looks um, wintry or Christmassy as well as from the top. So I'm just going to open this up and I'm going to dump some into my resin. So we had a great trip it took us we took three days to go down because we were pulling the trailer the fifth wheel so it, it took a bit longer and then we took two two long driving days coming back but um it was uh, a nice trip it was my son's first time going to the united states so that was nice okay i'm gonna add a little bit of I think I'm gonna add a little bit of glitter to this as well. Okay, so this is my uh, glitter from Recollections called Snow. I'm just gonna add some of that in. Let's give it a little bit of sparkle. Go with those snowflakes. It's interesting. I didn't realize that this is mixed in with these snowflakes is like a uh, like a clear cellophane, which would show up nice on black. It's not going to show up much with the clear, but I do want my snowflakes to show. So I'm going to add a little bit more so I can get more snowflakes in there. Okay, so I'm going to pour a little bit in and then I'm going to add the, the um, paper towel holder. I'm going to add some. All right, my microphone quit working for some reason at this point, so I'm just going to finish off this section with the voiceover. Uh, here I'm just filling in the resin. I want to make sure it's down into those, into the rim of this tray. Make sure that there's no bubbles in there that may cause a hole. So I'm just kind of spreading around and uh, just going around make sure that there, there's no bubbles in there. And then I'm going to put my paper towel holder in there. I'm giving it a push down. Um, I'm hoping that, you know, it kind of goes into the, the, the rim a bit. Uh, I'm going to add the resin on top. Uh, to, I'm trying to get it as flush as possible so that when I put the paper on, it has a flat surface to smooth surface to go on. But now that I'm working on this, I'm pretty sure this is not going to work out. It's just not enough room. So I'm just going to um, I'm going to add as much as I can on the top, um, get those snowflakes in there. Because uh, even if I can't add the paper, I think it's still going to be really nice looking um, to use as a paper towel holder. Okay, we're back now. Um, my original plan of putting this on top is not going to work out just because um, 
Because I put those big snowflakes in there, this is not really even on the top like I was hoping it would be. And because I had to bring it up so high, it's not the proper mold for this. Um, it's just not going to turn out. It's going to have, like, it would be very tough for me to put a top coat on this. So we're just going to change gears. Uh, I've ordered some cake pan molds that should fit this type of uh, holder better. And so let's go ahead and unmold this. All right. And we'll do something else with this mold. So there we go. So I'm just going to use it like this. You can see the the uh, holder through it. It's not, you know, it's still see-through, but it still looks wintry and it's still nicer than just the plain Dollar Tree a paper towel holder. So let me just grab a paper towel and I'll show you. Okay, I only had a partial roll to put on there, but as you can see, I'm quite pleased with this. And I'm just going to sit on my desk here in my craft room. Um, to hold my paper towels. All right. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you in the next one.